In September 2001, a week after the 9-11 attacks, letters containing spores of anthrax were sent to various media outlets and two U.S. senators. Though the incident did kill five people and infect 17 others, and this is not to be understated, there has not been another attack since. In February 2010, the FBI formally closed the book on this case after sole suspect Dr. Bruce Ivins committed suicide in July of 2008. There is nothing funny about predators hunting children on the internet, and parents have to be aware of what their children are doing on their computers, but it does seem to have been blown out of proportion. According to the Internet Safety Technical Task Force, made up of 49 state attorneys general, it is more dangerous to take your kid to the mall or grocery store than it is to let them surf the web. Check out the results of the task force report at the website listed here. These diseases have all been lumped together. Let's start with Mad Cow, a neurodegenerative disease that turns brains into mush. In December of 03, scary headlines like Beware of Beef were all over the news. Today, it is basically a non-issue, with the last confirmed case coming in 2006. In 2008, bird flu, aka H5N1, killed millions of chickens and caused widespread panic. To be fair, it did cause the deaths of 300 people, but tens of thousands of people die of flu complications during an average flu season. Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome, or SARS, caused a similar panic to bird flu and did cause the deaths of around 1,000 people. But again, tens of thousands die during an average flu season. Scientists now say the SARS virus is no longer found in humans. We all understand the need for diligent airport security, but having to remove your smelly shoes is getting a bit much. It all stems back to December of 01, when Richard Reed tried to ignite explosives packed into his shoes on a flight from Paris to Miami. And of course, who can forget the Y2K scare? Back in the 1960s, computer programmers to save space left off the 19 in the years. But what would happen when the calendars rolled over to the year 2000? Computers would stop working, planes would drop out of the air, and by the morning of January 1st, 2000, we'd all be back living in the dark ages. Well, in the end, the biggest story about Y2K was that nothing happened.